welcome to my channel my name is joanne i know it's been a while but i'm back with another video so today i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this cardigan over here and this is how it looks like this is how the pattern looks like so you can make this longer or shorter body hugging or free size depending on your preference yeah you can also extend the sleeves to be long sleeves so for the material, I'm going to use my brand over here called Bayaoko and it's a 3 play yarn cotton blend and it's a lightweight to there in between medium weight yarn. So with this type of yarn, I'm going to use 3 millimeter crochet hook and you need tape measure and you need scissor but you can use any other yarn of your choice that you can find within your reach. So you can buy this yarn from my Instagram page, Bayaoko. Check the link in the description box or you can also find it on my online craft store called uh, Osana Yarns. Also, you can check the link in the description box. So let's get started. So start by making a slip knot. Then you're going to make a very long chain from one shoulder to the other. So shoulder length. And make sure you chain it in excess because uh, once you're done with the pattern uh, formation, you're going to undo those excess stitches. I'm going to show you how to go about it. So to be safe, just chain in excess. So now let's start working on our first row. Uh, skip three. One, two, three. And then into the fourth one, make a double crochet. So it's like you have now two double crochets at the starting point, chain three, skip three stitches and then make a double crochet into the fourth stitch. One, two, three, make a double crochet. Chain three, skip three stitches and then into the fourth one make a double crochet. One, two, three, four. And then go ahead and make 14 more double crochets following each other uh, for a total of 15. So this is your first double crochet. Second double crochet. Three. Four. Sorry, I mentioned a total of 15 for these double crochets. It's supposed to be 21. So these double crochets following each other should be a total of 21. So to proceed, chain 3. Skip 3 stitches and then make a double crochet into the 4th stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4. Chain three, skip three stitches into the fourth one, make a double crochet. Chain three, and now we're going to make this 21 double crochets. Uh, skip three first, one, two, three, into the fourth one, start making your 21 double crochets so one two three so now i have 21 so we're going to repeat this pattern over here this one over here so start by chaining three and then skip three double crochet into the fourth one make a double crochet chain three again skip three and into the fourth one make a double crochet now chain three and make your 21 double crochets So this is going to be your pattern until you complete the row. 
as you cover from shoulder to shoulder. So I have made my final 21 stitches and I'm at the end of the row. Don't worry, it's because I chained in excess. So later on, I'm going to uh, remove these excess chains. So remember to the starting point, uh, this is what we did over here. We finished the row using two double crochet. So that's what we're going to do on this other side as well. So chain three, into the fourth one make a double crochet skip three one two three into the fourth one make a double crochet chain three skip three stitches into the fourth one make a double crochet and then make a final double crochet into the next stitch like that so at the beginning of the row uh, you've started with two double crochets, chain three, double crochet, and then the rest of the pattern here is spaced out like this. And then only at the end of the row, it's resembling the starting point. So now to begin on the next row, chain three. This chain three counts as a double crochet, turn your work around. And then make a double crochet in the next double crochet stitch chain three make a double crochet on top of this double crochet chain three and then you're going to skip this double crochet over here into the next one make a double crochet now go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch so we skipped uh, a double crochet at this starting point and also at this ending you're going to lose one stitch so now you have a total of 19 double crochet on top of this row chain three and Make a double crochet on top of this double crochet, chain three, make a double crochet into this next double crochet, chain three. Again, we're repeating the pattern, start by skipping this first double crochet and then make a total of 19 double crochet on top here. When you get to this point, lose a stitch, chain three, and then repeat this pattern until the end of the row. So on top of every double crochet now, it's supposed to be 19. The previous row, it was 21. So you have lost two stitches. I'm going to meet you at the end of the row. To complete the row, you're going to skip this final double crochet, then chain three, uh, make a double crochet, chain three, and then complete the row by making two double crochets at the end of the row. Like that. So for the next row, it's quite simple. It's just going to be a repeat of this row. The only difference is you're still going to lose two stitches on top here to make it a total of 17. So chain three, turn your work around and make a double crochet in the next stitch, chain three, make a double crochet on top there, chain three, lose uh, your first double crochet in the next one make a double crochet for a total of 17 because you're going to lose the last double crochet as well so 
so lose this double crochet chain three make a double crochet repeat this pattern until the end of the row I'm going to meet you at the end of the row to begin on the next row chain three so this row is going to be a little bit different so make a double crochet in the next stitch then make one more double crochet in the same stitch to form an increase now chain three make a double crochet in the next double crochet stitch chain three and then proceed by skipping the first double crochet and then go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch it's going to be a total of i think 15 on top here so yeah it's a total of 15 now chain three and you're going to skip this double crochet make a double crochet in the next stitch chain three and now inside this chain three stitch which is the middle point the third one or you can actually make the double crochet in this middle point like that chain three and then make double crochet in the next double crochet stitch so this is how it should look chain three and then you're going to skip the first double crochet and continue with the pattern you are going to repeat this part over here so the double crochets are going to be a total of 15 after skipping the first and the last and then at this point you're going to chain three skip the last double crochet and form make a double crochet chain three and then inside this chain three space you're going to make a double crochet chain three and then make a double crochet into this double crochet chain three and start the pattern all over again so repeat this until the end of the row So at the end of the row, you're going to repeat exactly what we did at the starting point. So after making this double crochet, chain three, and you're going to make an increase in this next double crochet by making two double crochets together. And then make the final double crochet at the end of the row. So at the starting point and ending point, you have three double crochets together. To begin on the next row, chain three. <coughs> Sorry, turn your work around and make a double crochet in the next double crochet. And into the third one, make an increase by making two double crochets in the same stitch like that. And now chain three make a double crochet in the next stitch chain three uh, keep on losing a stitch at the starting point and at the ending point so we're going to have a total of 13 double crochet on top here when you get to this part chain three lose a stitch and then make a double crochet where you have the double crochet chain three so now inside this middle stitch that we created make three double crochets together chain three sorry make a double crochet chain three so now you are repeating what we've done over here 
continue making double crochet for a total of 13 and then when you get at this middle point this is what you're going to create um, till you complete the row to complete the row chain three uh, make a double crochet into this double crochet chain three and remember to make an increase at this point by making two double crochet in the same stitch and then make the two last double crochets to complete the row so at the end of the row you should be having something like this to begin on the next row chain three turn your work around and then make double crochet in the next two stitches and into this fourth one you're going to make an increase by making two double crochet in the same stitch as you can see we are only increasing towards the inner part not the outer part so now chain three and make a double crochet on top of that double crochet chain three keep on losing a stitch by skipping one so now it's going to be a total of 11 double crochet on top when you get to this middle point you're going to chain three uh, sorry about the noise kids are playing um, so after chaining three you're going to make a double crochet over here chain three and so now you're going to start increasing on both sides so make two double crochet at that point in the middle one make one double crochet and at the ending make two double crochet so now you have a total of five chain three make a double crochet where you have this double crochet chain three so you're starting the pattern all over again by making this uh, 11 double crochet after skipping one so repeat this until the end of the row i'm going to meet you at the end of the row so at the end of the row chain three and make a double crochet chain three now remember to make an increase at this inner double crochet and then the rest of the double crochet you're just going to make one double crochet on top of each for a total of five so at the end of the row this is what you should be having so now the next row is quite simple you're just going to chain three turn your work around and you're going to make an increase at this inner point and you're going to have a total of six continue reducing your work and then when you get at this five double crochets you're going to make an increase here and an increase here so you're going to have a total of seven so repeat that until the end of the row when completing the row remember to make an increase here and then make double crochet in the rest for a total of six so at the end of the row you should be having something like this so now we have we have increased in the middle point which is seven and we continue reducing these ones over here and only increasing at this inner corner so the next row is quite simple as well you're going to start by chaining two and remember to increase at this point one two three four five six so we have six the next one is going to be a total of seven so continue reducing your work until you'll be left with one double crochet left and this point will be increasing so go ahead and repeat the same thing but remember to keep on increasing on this side and this 
you are reducing until you'll be left with one double crochet and this part is continuing to increase so i went ahead and completed all this and at this point i only have one double crochet you should be having one double crochet on top and on this part is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so on top here is 15 stitches and this is one double crochet and this is how the starting point looks like so this is what we are going to do in the next row so now let's work on the next row chain three turn your work around and make double crochet in each and every stitch we're still making an increase here by making two double crochet like that chain three make a double crochet chain three so at this point where you have one double crochet you're going to make one double crochet as well chain three double crochet into the next double crochet chain three so at this point we are still increasing on both sides until we get 21 stitches in total so at the end of this double crochet you're going to make two double crochet to form an increase so now you're going to repeat what we've done over here you're going to chain three double crochet chain three double crochet chain three double crochet make an increase so repeat this until the end of the row so now i'm at the end of the row and remember to make an increase over here so for the next row i'm going to guide you on how to go about it you're going to uh, chain three turn your work around so you're going to make double crochet make an increase at this ending so still chain three make one double crochet over here do not increase and uh, increase over here so far we have 17 the next is going to be 19 so repeat this until the end of the row and repeat this for the next two rows so now you'll be able to have like four plain uh, double crochets one two and the next two rows that you're going to work on remember you're still increasing here and you're increasing on these sides so I have completed those two rows and this is how the pattern should be looking like uh, one two three four four double crochets and then at this point I have 21 double crochets so for the next row you're going to start by chaining three turn your work around so make double crochet in each and every stitch And now you're going to lose a stitch you're going to skip this final stitch over here and chain three make a double crochet chain three and then inside this middle point this middle double crochet you're going to make three double crochet it's like you're making an increase so one two and three chain three make a double crochet in the next stitch chain three and where you have these 21 double crochet we're going to start making a decrease 
So skip a stitch and into the next one make a double crochet. Then continue making double crochet in each and every stitch. So I'm on this other side. We're going to lose a stitch by skipping this last double crochet. So chain three and skip this last double crochet. Make a double crochet over here. Chain three. And then at the middle point, you're going to make three double crochet to form an increase. Chain three, double crochet into the next stitch. Chain three, and now you're going to repeat the pattern. So after chaining three, you're going to skip a stitch and then make double crochet at the end of this. You're going to skip this final stitch, chain three, double crochet, chain three, make an increase over here. So repeat this until the end of the row. So at this point, after losing the two stitches, you're left with 19 stitches of, over here. And at this starting point, I, lose, I lost one stitch over here. Um, so we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So at the end of the row, you are also going after chaining 3, make a double crochet, chain 3. Remember we are also losing a stitch over here, so you are going to skip this and into the next one. Make a double crochet, then double crochet in each and every stitch until the end of the row. So by the end of the row, you should be having something like this. So now let's start working on the next row. To begin on the next row, chain 3, turn your work, and then make double crochet in each and every stitch. Uh, I have a total of 11 stitches, lose this stitch over here by skipping it, chain 3, make a double crochet, chain 3. So now um, at this point we are going to start increasing on both sides of these 3 double crochets. So make an increase by making 2 double crochet in the first double crochet. In the second one, make one double crochet and then into the last double crochet, make two double crochets together for a total of five, like that. So we've started increasing this point and we are decreasing this one over here. So chain three, make a double crochet into the next double crochet stitch chain three now lose a stitch by skipping the first double crochet into the second one make a double crochet and then go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch when you get to this end of double crochet skip this stitch so now you'll have a total of 17 chain three skip this double crochet and make a double crochet into the next one it's like we are starting this pattern all over again so now when you get to the middle point you're going to chain three and increase into the first double crochet by making two double crochets together into the next one make a one single double crochet uh, into the next stitch make two double crochet for a total of five chain three make a double crochet into the next stitch chain three now at this point you're going to skip the first double crochet into the second one make a double crochet so go ahead and repeat this pattern I'm going to meet you at the end of the row 
So when you get at the end of the row, also remember to lose a stitch. So skip this one and continue making double crochet until the end of the row. So at the end of the row, you should be having something like this. So now for the next number of rows, you are going to apply this same technique that we are using. So I'm only going to direct you on what to do and I'm going to meet you after completing those rows. So you're going to start your work by chaining three, continue losing a stitch. Uh, you keep on reducing this point and keep on increasing. So maintain the pattern, chain three, double crochet, chain three. At this point, so far we have five, continue increasing, you'll have seven. At this point, continue reducing, losing a stitch at this corner and at this corner. At this point, increasing, losing until you complete the row. And also at the end of the row, you'll keep on losing a stitch only uh, on the inner side. On the outer side, remember you're maintaining your work in straight edges. So go ahead and repeat that. I'm going to meet you once I'm done uh, reducing this until i have only one double crochet left or until when i have 21 stitches on this side so i went ahead and completed my rows and at this point i'm left with i have one double crochet over here and at this point we have 21 double crochets and at the starting point uh, this is three double crochets and three double crochets and I hope so far you have this kind of a pattern so this is the first phase of this pattern so let's begin working on the second phase of it so the second phase is quite simple just a few adjustment and once you have your 21 double crochets it means now you have to start decreasing so whenever you've hit the 21 double crochets it means the next row it's about to uh, we're going to start decreasing our work and uh, to begin on the next row and since we're decreasing our work, it means that you, st you, you need to start increasing on the inner side uh, to go like this. So begin the row by chaining three, turn your work around and make a double crochet in the next stitch. And in the third double crochet, you're going to start making an increase. So now you have a total of four. And this increase happens because we are starting to decrease these 21 chain uh, double crochets. So chain three, make a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three and skip a stitch. And then go ahead and make double crochet in the same, uh, double crochet in each and every stitch. Also skip uh, a stitch here, so chain three, uh, skip it and make a double crochet over here. So now chain three. So as you can see, uh, we are going to start increasing over here. Kindly ignore this, this pattern over here. Once you have this, uh, I don't know the shape of this, is it diamond? Once you have this, you're going to immediately start increasing after this one double crochet over here simply because we've started decreasing our work so you need to add a stitch over here to start um, accommodating the ones that you've uh, lost so make three double crochets inside this same double crochet and then chain three Make a double crochet in the next double crochet stitch, chain three, uh, skip one double crochet and then make double crochet in each and every stitch. Skip this stitch over here, chain three, make a double crochet in the next double crochet stitch, chain three, 
So make an increase over here by making three double crochets in the same stitch. Chain three, a double crochet in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern until the end of the row. So at the end of the row, make an increase in this inner side by making two double crochets in the same stitch and then make double crochet in the rest of the stitches to complete the row. So continue working on the pattern, continue reducing until you're left with one and at the center point continue increasing until you have 21 stitches and at the end this corner continue increasing your work this way so i'm done with this uh, batch over here i have reduced my work until i'm left with one double crochet and up here i have 21 double crochets and this is how the edges look like so i want you to continue with the rest of the pattern repeating the same thing we've been doing so once you are on this level the next thing you're going to do is to uh, uh you're going to lose a stitch over here and since you have this one double crochet you're going to make an increase by making three double crochet then start reducing your work and here you're going to increase your work and while increasing remember you are also reducing this corner like this uh, also reducing like this increasing here reducing here so repeat the pattern until you have your desired length of the back so finally i'm done working on the back panel and this is how it looks like so this is the pattern so once you're done working on the back panel, I want you to go ahead and start working on the front panel and it's pretty much the same pattern we've been using, just that for the front you're going to make two panels for the front. Yeah, as you can see this is how mine looks like. So I have two of these for the front and one big for the back. So the next thing we're going to do uh, is to attach these two front panels on the side and start shaping this pedigree. So to start attaching your front and the back panel, uh, we're going to start by binding on top of this area and I'm going to use a single crochet to do this. So make a single crochet. So I line the two stitches of the two panels together and insert your hook, pass it through the next stitch of the other panel and make a single crochet. Insert your hook in the next stitch, align it with the other stitch at the back and make a single crochet. So repeat this at the end of the row. So once you get to the chain spaces area, make two single crochet in that chain three space instead of three. And then into the double crochets, make a single crochet. So make sure you align your pattern together and repeat this until you're done with this up to this other end. So I'm at the end, I'm going to chain one, sorry, I'm going to chain one and cut off the yarn, tighten it off. So go ahead and bind the other side and this is how it looks like. This is the right side. So next let's bind the sides and we're going to start binding it from the down part going up so that you can be in control of your armhole yeah so to bind these two sides together attach your yarn at this down part 
using a single crochet like that and then take this other side make sure you're binding in the wrong side attach a single crochet onto this other side so now you're going to align your two sides together so each row facing each other and you're going to make single crochet pass it on to this other row make first single crochet make another single crochet in the same row so you should be having a total of two single crochets in one row go into the next row pass it on to the other side make two single crochet in the same row move on to the next row and pass it on to the other side make two single crochets in the same row go into the next row pass it on to the other side and then make two single crochet in the same row so repeat this uh, going up and then you're going to stop at a point where you feel that you have your armhole and I'm going to meet you at that point and then repeat the same thing on to the other side. Um, finally done with the binding and this is how the right side looks like. So once you've binded these two sides together, you can actually see this pattern forming on the side. So yeah, so the final thing, um, not really the final thing, but the next thing we're going to do is to start binding the this front area and also around the neck. So before we start binding this front opening, if you had chained in excess at the beginning, this is the point where you need to uh, undo this excess foundation chain stitches like that carefully not uh, so that you don't go overboard and undo all these stitches so to bind this area we're going to use the front post back post so attach a yarn and first we're going to work rows of double crochet so now chain two and this count as your first double crochet so in each row in every row you're going to make two double crochets so this is a row over here i'm going to make two double crochet in the same row in the next row make two double crochets together in the next row two double crochets so repeat this i'm going to meet you around the neck area and show you what to do so i'm at the neck area and just cross over and make double crochet also around the neck Now continue making double crochet onto this other side the same way you've done on the other side and then when you get at this corner you're going to start making double crochet on the down part all around on the down part continue making double crochets cross over onto this other side continue making double crochet and then I'm going to meet you at this corner uh, where you first made your first double crochet so now i have binded this work all around up to the down part it's now already binded with the double crochet so now to begin on the next row we're going to start making front post to back post on the front area let me show you So up to the neck area, the front opening all around like this, you're going up to this point, you're going to start making front post, back post, back and forth. 
uh, as you build the ribbing of the front opening so to do that I'm just going to uh, make a slip stitch there to close that row and then chain two so this chain two counts as my first double crochet into the next stitch uh, make a f uh, back post into the, into the next one make a front post into the next double crochet back post into the next one front post so repeat this all around go through the neck uh, doing front post back post I'm going to meet you at the other corner so I have made the front post back post all around through the neck and onto this other side so when you get at this end you're just going to chain three turn your work around and then where you have this front post make a front post where you have the back post make a back post where you have the front post sorry i joined my yarn over here make a front post where you have the back post make a back post so continue repeating this even through the neck going back and forth until you build this ribbing effect on the opening and then once you're done with doing the ribbing on the front opening over here you're going to attach your yarn and make the front post back post on this down detail over here so go back and forth and also build it as well and then lastly we have the arm and for this arm uh, you can also make the front post back post ribbing on both sides and then you're done so the final thing you're going to do is to weave in your ends and yay that's all so the outfit is finally done and this is how it looks like uh, this is the binding around the neck and this is how the down part look like so I ended up not doing the binding on the armhole so if you did it's still okay and thank you so much for watching until the end kindly uh, leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this and also subscribe to my youtube channel more amazing tutorials coming up soon so until next time goodbye